Dr. Joe was one of the most popular speakers on the documentary What the Bleep Do We Know, with his fireside chat about constructing one's day in a positive way. But his knowledge of the brain goes far beyond those short clips. Joe explains in this interview how our brain chemicals work to keep us embroiled in old habits and patterns, and what it takes to overcome those patterns. Extremely useful information for anyone with a brain. One of the dangers, he explains, is the proliferation of violent video games in our society. Society. Well, this is a dangerous age. Yes. Uh, and, you know, when children play computer games um, and they're blowing something up or they're shooting somebody or they're gunning a plane down or they're busting through to the next level or they're breaking a wall down or whatever those games do, uh, what happens is the moment that they succeed in overcoming whatever it is on that computer game, the brain produces enormous amounts of dopamine. Now, dopamine is the pleasure chemical. It's, it, 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 it's, it stimulates the reward center in the brain. So the person, the kid spends an hour, two hours with this incredible sensory stimuli and their brain levels of all this dopamine that's being produced is stimulating the pleasure center in the brain. And if you keep doing that, the pleasure center recalibrates itself to a higher level. You need a little bit more to turn it on. And so the receptor sites in the pleasure center are very sensitive to those chemicals. And if you give those receptor sites too much boost, uh, they become desensitized. They don't function, so you need more of a stronger chemistry to turn it on. It's like living with a spouse who always yells at you. you have, they have to yell a little louder to get your attention. Well, the brain's the same way. The receptor sites need a little bit more of a rush. So now this kid spending two hours, and it's not normal to put the brain through two hours of that type of stimulation, uh, just thr thrust their pleasure center to a very high level. And now they're going to go to school. And now learning should be a reward in itself. And because they produce such high levels of dopamine and even adrenaline, uh, when it comes to the normal sensory stimuli in our environment, watching the sunset, taking a walk with your grandpa, uh, playing with your dog, it's just not going to turn on the pleasure center. You see kind of a slack-jawed, disengaged look you see in this, a lot of the young kids now. You see this thing called adhedonia, which you, you don't get pleasure from anything. So they, they don't, they're removed because their brain has uh, an abnormal chemistry. So when learning should be a reward in itself, these children um, are unstimulated. So they're either falling asleep or a great way to turn the brain on is to act out, to get in trouble. The moment you get in trouble, yeah. adrenaline Spikes levels it, go yeah. on, it, you have a moment where there's heightened awareness and the child doesn't know that they're consciously doing this, but they're doing something to get that same rush, to get that same high. Don't miss this opportunity to learn critical information about how your brain works. For the full interview, go to ConsciousMediaNetwork.com.